Hello Space Engineers, welcome back to Far From, well, Alone as I'm calling it. Um, I've been getting on with some stuff, made a bit of progress, I'm just going to have you a quick walk around. So, uh, despite many efforts, um, <laughs> this is still looking very much like a brick, a square brick. So, uh, it, yeah, it's not really ship shape, you might call it. However, you can see I've uh, I put a bottom floor on it, so it's kind of a lot taller than it is wide at the moment. And let me put some light on so you can see. So here we have got uh, a couple of ways down onto the bottom floor where I've kind of doubled up. So we've got another large cargo container and a hydrogen tank. And as you can see, that hydrogen tank is 40% full. And if I go back upstairs, I've put them the other way round on purpose. So we've got cargo on that side, hydrogen on that side, and the opposite down below. Uh, just in case of disasters, to sort of keep the explodey bits apart. This one is... Uh, where are we? 100% full. Um, <laughs> now, how I got to that... Uh, I'm going to show you in a little, not as long as the last uh, cutscene, but again I was just messing around and something appeared on the, the uh, thing down there and I went and got it and it, it was a hydrogen tanker so I managed to get basically a, an entire ship from that so uh, you shoot off and have a look how I got that and uh, I will, well, probably do some welding see you in a minute
Okay, so, as you saw, uh, well worth getting that ship. Um, to do it, I had to build up the uh, assault cannon on my, my little ship here. And I managed to make four rounds of assault cannon ammo. Yeah, literally, I think it was just four rounds. Um, I did that because, you remember, we got the four missiles. Uh, I forget where we got them from now, but you saw me get four missiles. So by breaking the missiles down, I was able to make that and shoot off the two uh, the two turrets. So yeah, that was that was pretty good and well worth doing. Um, right, so. I want to just finish off this little bit on the roof here and then I thought in the long run uh, as in once we get moving and we get more stuff I thought what I could do is use this as the sort of core part of the shop uh, the ship shop ship um, so I will try and explain I'm just going to switch my lights off because they don't really work from here so yeah, if I use this as the sort of central main part of the the ship, and then I'll extend out both sides with essentially nacelles, um, which can house like hydrogen and whatever guns and that sort of thing, and the solar panels obviously. But that's all much further down the road, uh, simply because well we need to get moving now. Hydrogen is the only form of propulsion that I have. I've managed to put uh, these, I haven't painted them, so you can see these are the stolen thrusters uh, of the captured ship. And that one, and those two. Um, that's not going to be a permanent arrangement, by the way. I've just put them on because we need something. But I still need 40 grids for this one, and the same for these top two. We have no top thrust at the moment and uh, only well only one built on this side as well and they're all gonna require lots of grids which is cobalt now I'm okay for cobalt I, I'm not doing bad but I'm not doing great either so I think we're gonna have to just try and do what we can do and then try and get moving so these blocks up At least if we get attacked by drones or something, it'll give us some kind of protection. So, yes, hydrogen we have. However, once it runs out, I have no way of replacing it. Um, because, obviously, I don't have access to any ice. So I would really rather try and get some uh, ion thrusters. Because... Obviously, solar power, we're always going to have. We're never going to run out of that. Even if I have to stop and recharge, we're not going to run out of that. But I just don't have enough at the moment to make any kind of um, decent quantities of large grid ion thrusters. So that's something I've been attempting, but miserably failed. Now, over there is another May Day that I've been to. It's perfectly safe and it does have a utility ship on it, a welder grinder ship. So I'd like to go and hack that and try and capture the entire ship. And we just recharge. And also back, way back at the Roid, which I have made about six trips backwards and forwards. And I'll explain how. So, yeah, what I did was I made a small oxygen tank and a small hydrogen tank. And the oxygen tank, obviously, these are large grid. Uh, I was able to go and get all of the oxygen from that roid, um, which is now in here. So we have a full oxygen and the one I'm currently using, which is not quite full. And I did the same with the hydrogen. I've got a small hydrogen tank, large grid, and I've been going over there... I've got the, the tank on my ship here, and that tank, I've made about six trips, and it's still 50% full. <laughs> so, um, I, I really got kind of fed up of making that kind of trip. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to strip this little one down, because it's just not up to the job. And I'm going to replace it with a big one, and then we'll take one trip over with a big tank, and uh, hopefully just get the rest of it. It's going to be a bit unwieldy, 
but I think it'll be worth it in the end. So let's just grab those parts. And the big tank isn't going to fit there, is it? So to probably have to move that one, I think. Take that off. And I need somewhere I can just temporarily stick that. So maybe just on there. So I'm going to move this one onto there, and just going to switch on to lock off, and rename it. Just copy the name off that one. It's the easiest way of doing that. And um, yeah, we'll swap those over, and then that'll give me a bit of room here to put a large, large grid hydrogen tank. Okay, so the way I was doing this was we put uh, auto lock on. Um, should actually take parking off that. Don't really want that unlocking if I accidentally press P. And then there's my tank. I think that's probably the easiest one. So I'm just going to make sure it's kind of orientated correctly. Almost orientated correctly. And then you just sort of put it on, lift it up till it goes green. And then you hear it lock as you place it. Okay, so that's that bit, and then we're going to obviously need a connector. So it might seem like a bit of a waste of materials, this, but if it gives me a means to uh, capture hydrogen, I'm sure it's going to come in useful uh, many, many, many times. So just let me build these up back in a sec. Okay, so there we go. There's a large grid hydrogen tank. Just hope we can see past it when we're flying. So I'm going to put that one on stockpile by default. And um, we'll take that over and go and get the last of the hydrogen and then uh, break that one down and we'll be done with that. Um, in the meantime, I just ran out of construction components. So I'll have a couple of those. Uh, in incidentally, if you're wondering why I haven't bothered uh, replacing my basic tools, uh, I could probably build better tools. It's because the grinder itself, you want the worst grinder you can get when, when grinding things down with ore scrap, because that gives you the most materials back. And if I give myself something like an elite welder, I'm probably going to forget that I've got it. And when I go to dangerous situations to try and take out um, volunteers, then I'm probably going to lose it. So I figured I'd just stick to the basic stuff. And then if I do lose it, it's not quite so important. Uh, right, we're all charged and ready to go. First thing I want to do is to go and rescue this uh, utility ship, which we have to hack before I can rescue it. So uh, it's 11 kilometers away. I don't know why I put 9k. It's actually 11, but anyway, uh, I will uh, see you when we get there. Okay, here we are, doing my usual trick of backing into it. So I think it took me about 1.2 kilometers to speed up, so I'm going to 
give it a little bit of safety zone. I do have the hydrogen now as a backup, so if it looks like we're going to collide, I can always switch the hydrogen thrusters on. Yeah, pretty much perfect, I would have said. Okay, let's uh, turn around and face the thing. So it's giving off a red mark. Obviously, it's not a friendly grid at the moment. But I have been out with the jetpack and checked it out. It is perfectly safe. It's mostly just a steel hull, uh, which is useful because I need the steel. And we're going to go shooting past it here, aren't we? But yes, it does have somewhere in it. There at the back, isn't it? I think we're actually upside down. Hang on. There. This utility ship, which isn't fully built, but... Uh, oh, that sun is in the wrong place, isn't it? So what we're going to try and do is just uh, use my magnetic plate, lock onto it, and then start hacking it. Careful here. Booming great guns sticking out at the front. There we go. Let's see what the hacking computer's doing. There we go. So that's attempting to hack. So we can leave that hacking. There's lots of Maydays flashing around me. We are kind of way out there, but yeah, nice little ship. Probably, um, I don't know whether I'll use the grinder. I might use the grinder for this kind of thing. Uh, but the welder will certainly be useful for welding up all those blocks. But you can see it's, there is some things that need uh, finishing off thrusters and bits and pieces but the majority of it is pretty much intact I think we do have a timer running I don't know what that's doing probably just operating the, the mayday I think yeah so we've hacked that already so there is some hydrogen in it by the look of it 45% Nice. So while it's doing that, I might as well take some of these pieces. I don't think there's many components of any particular use. But the steel will be handy anyway. These are actually rocket launchers. I don't know if there'll be any rockets in them. Nope. Yeah, that's a shame. Magnesium is something I am extremely short of. For obvious reasons. Uh, you're not docked onto that one. Just take that one off. So I'll just take some of these blocks out and make it easier to get that ship out. And we've got nothing better to do while we're waiting for it to hack anyway, so... Okay, let's see how we're doing now. No enemy blocks. Cool. So that should be ours. Uh, grinder access denied. And then a whole load of incomplete. Welder access denied. Why is 
missed that. Because they switched off. Yeah, so we can't hack them if they're switched off. But that's okay. And let's change that. Oops. Okay. So it needs a bit of tidying up. Um, now I could take it back with the tug, but I think I can probably fly that back. Got and kind of some back, some up, some left, and only one stopping. Should be working. Looks like the conveyor's not connected there somewhere. We'll have to dig into it to find out why that is. That one's working. and 2k ice uranium and it has a reactor so let's switch that off I don't think we want to be wasting that okay so yeah I think I'm probably best off flying that back so let me carry on grinding some of this down my lights on now. Plenty of energies in the ship. sure if there's any point in attempting to hack this big ship uh, simply because I don't think there are any computers on it I, mean, I could put a control panel on it and change its ownership to mine that would give me more components back but uh, not too worried about the steel plates so much as the iron so I think that's really necessary. Okay, just take this little bit off and then we'll get this back. Just wondering whether it would be worth trying to drag this whole carcass back. But I think as there's not really anything here except steel. We might as well just strip it down here, I think. Don't see anything. I think it's just steel. 
Um, okay, let's try something. If I take your dampers off, give you all the steel, let's see how pliable this is. Uh, so, we need groups, we don't have any. Okay. That's that and that. So we've got independent landing gears, let's group them. Uh, certainly not four and five, are they? Constructor out gear. And we've got two connectors, we'll have to figure out which is which. We want to make sure the antennas are off on everything because Reavers. Uh, small hydrogen tank has got some in it. What else is there? Timer block. Just going to switch those off for now because we don't actually know what they do. And let me have a look. So. Got a connector on the bottom and a connector on the back. we've got nowhere to dock it when we get back so that's a thing okay so uh, let's do rear switch lock and bottom switch lock and what have we got in form of batteries just the one okay. charge on off not sure what camera is going to be used for but on there anyway. Yeah, I don't need that. Need those. That stockpile on off. And then groups. We got landing gear. Switch lock. Okay, let's if I can get the camera somewhere we can actually see what's going on. Let's see what happens. Okay. Don't really like burning all the hydrogen and it is very heavy. We are actually upside down, so I'm just gonna rotate around just so that when we get back we are uh, actually got some chance of getting where we're going the right way around. I'm just wondering if those hydrogen thrusters are going to do damage, but I, I think they're probably far enough away. So, well, fingers crossed on that one. Um, camera's just being silly. <sighs> okay, so. Uh, take the dampness off and get some speed up, and I'll see you when we get there. Alright, so we're just uh, three kilometers out here. Um, again, I'm going backwards in because there's only one hydrogen thruster at the front of the ship. So, I'm going to uh, slow down early just to be sure we can. So, maybe one and a half kilometers, something like that. And I'll fly the rest more gingerly. some damage components on here because there's a trail of smoke coming off but um, I'm sure it's all repairable and unfortunately
unfortunately my camera is being very very silly so let's just uh, just aim past my ship so we don't collide with it and we'll come in gently Okay, yep, I forgot, I got guns. Oh, took the copy out. Yeah, I forgot about that. Okay, okay, okay. You can you can stop now. I think everything's fighting me. Okay. Uh. Oh, heck. What's it? Where's it gone? We seem to be flying away. Why? Why are we flying away? Uh. It's fighting with itself. So, must remember, cannot approach guns on with enemy grids. Um, why can't I get closer? It's definitely trying to pull me in the wrong direction. Okay, let's, um... Oh, God, get out of the cockpit. Right, I've got enough components for a cockpit, and we've got a beacon on it. Where the heck's my ship? And that's better. Also, if you put your jetpack on, let's just hope we can get the components before it flies out of range. Successful. So, note to self. Switch guns off when bringing enemy grids back. Dampeners are on. That was strange that it was just spinning out, out of control, but I guess that's part of the game. So, let's do that. These are all below their hack level. Yeah, so we should be good now, but probably lost our hydrogen. So, let's take the dampers off on that one. Alright, and let's try that again. In fact, I think we're going to put hydrogen on. I think we should be okay. Because this is pretty heavy. Went well, didn't it? <laughs> eh, these things happen. Right, let's just park it here somewhere, get a few repairs done, and then we'll have to figure out somewhere where we can dock it.
let's repair you and see if you can manage to keep any hydrogen in you. Oops. No, looks like we lost it. Damn, that's a shame. That's uh, a really important part. some of this bodywork. Yeah, there's a broken pipe. Okay, so we'll, uh, we'll get these fixed up. Because they're l below the hack level, um, they should repair and become ours. Ooh, oh, construction components, huh? Grids, huh? I was afraid that was going to happen. Energy low. Okay. That's a little bit straighter at least. Rather, 
you missing blocks. Energy critical. Yes, thank you. I am aware that I'm running out of energy. Okay. More metal grids, really? Oh, what are we short of? Got a little bit of nickel. Why don't we have any iron? So I'm going to have to go back and get some iron off that hulk. Let's put that um, missing piece in. Get rid of you. Missing hydrogen, I think that should be pretty good. So we've got a couple more thrusters here. But now we need somewhere to dock it. So those are on auto lock. And Just stick it on here for now, although I do need to put some hydrogen in it. No point in having it if I can't use it. Actually, I'll put that in there. Yeah. Might cause problems docking the other one. get some hydrogen in somehow. Uh, if I let go of it, am I going to be able to catch it before it drifts off into the void? So I think what I'll do is... Uh, let me turn it around that way. something behind it. Hopefully that'll be alright. And then we're going to release and try and reposition this on the front. That way if I do bump into it, uh, hopefully it won't go drifting too far. Now, what can I grab hold of here? I don't think you can grab the end of the utility things. Maybe have to be the cockpit. <laughs> that 
that assault cannon is definitely in the wrong place. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my uh, magnetic plate onto auto lock, and that way, if I get anywhere close, we should pick it up. Safe side. That's that one. And lock that one. Of auto lock and kind of a bit low on O2. Still got a bit of hydrogen, so yeah, maybe we'll look onto here. A second. Uh, right, so I want to try and put a bit of hydrogen in here, which is six. And I'm going to have to switch it off on the other one, aren't we? That's 40%. So we'll take stockpile off on that one. And then we should be able to grab some through here. There we go. So I'm not going to fill it all the way. Just go to like 50%. Um, okay, so now we'll take that off, dampers back on. Oops. Let's bring this back to a reasonable location. Might actually get away with putting another connector on the front by the cat, uh, the cockpit there, might we? Anyhow, that will do for now. And I thought I'd take an auto lock off those. Apparently I didn't. Oh, it's still got auto lock on. Okay. Structural landing gears. It is unlocked. It is ready to lock. What's going on? Unlock, auto lock is off. That's better. Okay, alright, that's that done. I'm going to take the dampers off just in case we do move. And, uh, right. So we're locked on, that's ready to go. Let's unlock that. Now, we need to see whether this has the ability to move. Oh, okay, it's locked again. Auto lock off. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's going to be heavy, it's going to be awkward, and I'm going to have to be careful not to blow it up with my hydrogen thrusters. But. about all over the place here, look. Anyhow, 
let's go grab the rest of this hydrogen and um, it's 20 k's away which is a heck of a trip which is why I didn't want to do it like another 60 times with the small tank so uh, I'll see you when we get there okay so here we are back at the rock the rock that has just given so much be a bit careful going in here. I uh, don't want to crash into it and ruin the tank, so can't actually see the connector. There it is. I think. And it's filling nicely. Lovely. So that should be... yeah, that's completely empty now. Excellent. So what I'm going to do in order to have this not reconnect on me is we're actually just going to switch that off. And then I can pull away from it. And just line up ready to go homewards that's over there a bit closer and then I'm going to strip this get all the goodies back from this I've got nine hydrogen left in the, the ship, which I'm hoping will be enough to accelerate and decelerate. Ooh, okay. Uh, it must have sucked those out of there, I think. So remember to switch the stockpile off on that one so that when we get back to base it can empty. Now unfortunately I can't rescue this battery. I could have brought my own battery over and sucked the power out of it. That's a possibility but I'm not sh desperately short of power now. I am desperately short of nickel. Um, so I think the best thing to do is to get the power cells That would be more useful to me at the moment. Okay, and there we go. That's that's everything. The only thing we're leaving is a dead body. Poor fella. But, uh, can't do anything with him. He's of no use to me. So, okay, let's carefully get out of here. and begin the long journey home making sure of course we are going to home so here we are just pulling up alongside our ship 
kind of. Almost. So now we need to see whether this will actually fit on the only connector I've got. It's going to be tight, but I think it should fit. Oops. We there. Yeah, like I say, it's going to be tight. because this is a 3x3 three three block. Well, we'll have to give it a try. The most it'll do is smash a couple of steel blocks. And switch that on. So this isn't on stockpile, um, thank you, oh we're not, okay, let's put you on stockpile. And then connect. And you should empty, yes. Lovely. Um, okay, let's disconnect you. Let's take you off stockpile again because I'm going to need some hydrogen. So, 94% on that one. Very nice. So, we got 100% on the top one, 94% on that one. So, that should be good for a little while. you back over here. Spent a full hydrogen in my ship, which is not good. And come off a bit. one as it's a large one. this and get a little bit more hydrogen back. Ooh, miles off. So that can get a bit of a recharge, and I'll have to uh, mess around with the um, hydrogen tanks so that I can get some back into this. That's not terribly important at the moment. Right, so I'm afraid I'm all out of time in today's episode. Get rid of that horrible message. There's another Mayday just past that one. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and grind down that hull that steel hull, that will give us some iron that we desperately need. Um, I'm going to check out this utility ship, make sure everything's uh, repaired and functional and usable, and then I think I'll probably use this to go and grind it down because it'll be a lot quicker. Although, to be fair, it can't really carry any more cargo than that one. In fact, arguably, it can carry less cargo than that one. 
I think we've got two cargo boxes on here. Uh, one thing I will do just before I finally let you go. Um, I don't want our oxygen generator using up all our ice, if it hasn't already. It hasn't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save that. wrong one. Where's all our ice gone? Uh, oh, it's not, not docked. I can't, can't do it. I'll have to move that manually. But I'm going to take the uranium and the ice and all the components out of it. Um, they're far more used to me than sitting in, in the utility ship. Uh, I'm also going to have to try and put together some kind of a, probably just on the front there, just a docking connector, I think. Um, maybe do away with the platform and just do it like I did the other one. Just for now as a temporary measure. Yeah, but we, I think we've done well today. We've got another ship, we've got some stuff, we've got all the hydrogen. We finally finished with that uh, roid over there, so we can actually get rid of that one now. Not going to be going back to that. Uh, we're making progress, but I don't. I still don't feel ready to leave. Um, the main reason is, if I can't find hydrogen, uh, you know, we're out and about and I can't find any hydrogen, we're, we're stranded completely, because I don't have the means for any other propulsion. So I would like to have at least one um, small large grid ion thruster in each direction, so that at least we have some means to move around. And to do that is going to require a lot of thruster components. The only other way to do it is just to take a chance, uh, but you've seen my, my success rate at capturing anything with um, ion thrusters is not so, not so hot. <laughs> so, um, yeah, don't know. Anywho, thank you very much for joining me. Um, hope you enjoyed that. And take care of yourselves, and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye-bye now.